morning, everybody. We're at a Ultramar truck stop. Montreal, Quebec. And I've got to run up to Quebec City really quick. We have some LTL to pick up. Tomorrow was my loading appointment, so I was going to be sitting here all day waiting to get loaded tomorrow. I'm loading 28 feet here in Montreal. I wanted to put more on my trailer than that. We found some more. It's in Quebec City. It's another 10 feet. I can go grab it today, make my way back close to Montreal, come back into Montreal tomorrow to load the rest of the freight, and then head home. Let's go get it. Logan, the best is the least we can do. For some reason, I always read that in my mind backwards. I always want to say, the least is the best we can do. <laughs> the best is the least we can do. They're based out of Nova Scotia, I think. All right. 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Let's go, shall we? I'm gonna lose my good parking spot. Okay. It's raining, which means it's going to get slippery tonight if it goes down below freezing. Oh, the 
of a sudden there's all kinds of people everywhere. seriously injured or something for them to Turn left. shut everything down there so they let me know now I just got into the city so I'm making a u-turn and uh, pointing my nose back towards Montreal but I'm gonna stop just outside the city of Quebec just in case if something else pops up here this afternoon meters, yet. turn left on Boulevard Milford Camel RDE 138 and then take the entrance to the left at 180 meters in 300 meters, turn left on Boulevard Milford Camel, RDE 138, and then take the entrance to the left in 180 meters. Karen, you talk too much. Not in the mood. So, I mean, what can we do, right? It's just been a bit of a streak of bad luck here trying to get this trailer loaded. I still have my load that I'm loading tomorrow morning, uh, 28 feet in Montreal. I don't think there's going to be anything that we find at this time of day. It's already afternoon. We'll see if something else pops up in Quebec City. I'm here already. I can quickly run over and grab it, but it looks like likely I'm going to be headed back to Montreal now. Now, when stuff like this happens, usually I do get a kickback out of it. Uh, Oh boy, that guy just about drove right into his trailer. Hey, gotta give our trailer space here, guys. Oh, someone's gonna do that to me, too. Okay. Hopefully they see it. Hopefully they see it. They did. Okay, good. And I'm coming right over here because I'm gonna make a left turn right away. In okay. 100 meters, take the entrance to the left on Alt 73 South Lot 40 West Pompier on port. So I don't know if I'd call it a kickback that I get, but there is usually a fee in a so associated with canceling a truck this close to. Uh, the time we were supposed to pick up like I was supposed to be there in 15 minutes I'm, I'm 15 minutes away right now. I came all the way from Montreal and it was a last minute Last minute thing, but uh, it was an emergency. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. That's something that uh, the people back home take care of for me We'll see what comes out of that But that is some more lost revenue. I hope that whoever got hurt is okay. I really do hope that uh, it wasn't too serious. Oh, this is a tight corner. You gonna make that, bud? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. My turn.
Corsage. And we start heading back. Waste of time and fuel. the same way I came in on the south side on 20. So I gotta go back. More wasted miles. <laughs> ah, what a day. What a day. In 300 meters, slide right on RDE 138. Going around this interchange here just to get myself meters. turned back around Slide again. Right on. I didn't go too far out of the way, like five miles to the interchange, so not a big deal. I'll just go back, go over the bridge, and then continue on down the south side. In 400 meters, take the entrance to the left on. Alt 40 East, Quebec, Auto, Route Felix McClark. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the left on. Alt 40 East, Quebec, Auto, Route Felix McClark. There's only so many bridges that go over the St. Lawrence. Or that go over the river, anyway. So it's shorter for me to go back and backtrack to the other bridge that we went over before than for me to go all the way down to the next bridge. kind of stuff happens though, this is part of trucking. be smooth sailing for the most part but it is end of day and everyone's trying to leave the city uh, there is nothing for me I've gotten uh, the confirmation that there's nothing for me in the city so I have the green light to head back to the Montreal area uh, we may be trying to grab something in Ontario tomorrow after I pick up my 28 feet in Montreal but that is all stuff that gets taken care of by the good people in the office and I'm so thankful for them I couldn't imagine doing this all on my own. So the way it works is I get paid a uh, uh, percentage, majority of it. The exact percentage is confidential. It's in the, it's in the contract of uh, where we work, but it is the majority of the rate. They do take a cut off the top and it's for, it's for times exactly like this. Right now, they're haggling with the customer about uh, covering my fuel coming from Montreal to Quebec City and then having it canceled literally 10 minutes before I rolled in. So last minute cancellation. Uh, they take care of all of that, whatever that rate's gonna be. They're, they're trying to get as much as they can for me, but I at least, you know, I need my fuel uh, reimbursed and my time, also the wear and tear on my truck. So if I was completely on my own with no one back in the office, just me, I would have to be doing all that right now and you know what 
I have faith in myself that I could figure it out, but that would be such a headache to do this job plus that job just to get, you know, 100% of the rate for myself. And plus, I don't have all the big customers and clients, right? I'd have to build that up myself. So I'm very happy with what I'm doing right now. I'm perfectly fine with them uh, taking their cut off the top to take care of all of this headache and uh, paperwork and haggling and negotiating for me, right? And I gotta say though, Quebec drivers are so nice and polite. I have no problems changing lanes ever. They always make room for you. And they always give you the little flash roos to let you know to that it's safe to come Three in, right? Kilometers. Keep to the right on Alt 73 South Highway 201 North 20. And yes, people move a little bit slower here in Quebec. They usually drive about 10 under the limit, but you know, when you need to change lanes, it's nice that they all understand like, oh, this big truck turned on his signal. He would like to change lanes. You know, they make room and they flash you in saying, hey, it's safe to come over. I see you there. I know you're going to move over. Acknowledging that I want to make a move. And then I make my move, move into the lane. I give them the little flashers to say thank you. It's a nice little polite conversation without words, you know? I got to give that to Quebec. They're, uh, at least in my experience, they're very courteous drivers. They just drive slow. It's my only beef with them. You guys drive slow. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of you taking advantage of that space. I get it. I get it. I'm not, I'm not from Quebec, okay? I have my limits. Oh, you're gonna do it too, aren't you? You're gonna do it. Yes, you are. Okay, last one. Last one. Okay. Since everybody else is being so nice to me, I'm trying to be nice to everybody else too. You go to Ontario, that's a different story. You find someone being nice to you on the road, you sort of turn around and look at them like, what? Where did you come from? Who are you? What are you doing being nice to me? I don't trust you. What do you want? I don't got any money. Right? Ah, and I want to stay in this right lane too. Oh, oh. What's going on up there? That pickup truck is like... Why did that car stop right beside him and block him from moving in? That was weird. Okay, I'll let a few of you in because you guys have been nice to me. Here you go. Here you go. There's a space for you. Give her. Come on, Volvo. Veet, veet. Hurry. I know that in French. All right. There we go. We're through that mess. On the bridge. Look at this on the right and on the left here. They have that barricade up on the bar going up so that people don't climb it. Who would want to climb that? Not me. This is the Esso truck stop. Exit 152 on Auto Route 20. I can get it to focus there for you. Well, this day just keeps getting better. Uh, so I parked here. This is exit 152 Auto Route 20. It's a nice big truck stop. It's an SO card lock. Uh, it's a big truck stop, big restaurant. There's a shop here and everything. And it's really nice that they have a shop right here because I parked here in this spot and I was gonna move to a different spot as I do. I pick a spot and then I'm like, no, 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 no. actually I want a different spot. And then I go park somewhere else. Well, I wanted to go park somewhere else, and I realized my brakes wouldn't release. My trailer brakes aren't releasing. Remember, and I always check to make sure my trailer brakes release. I'm like, oh, okay, well, they won't release, and I'm losing air. I'm like, I bet you it's one of my brake pods on the trailer. So, pull the truck brakes, go back around to the trailer. No kidding. Passenger side front brake pot is gushing air. It's done. Broken. So I can't even move the truck from where I am right now. So I called uh, into work, because it's not my trailer, and uh, I told them what was going on, and they gave me a couple of numbers of places to call. First number I called is actually the shop that, that's right here. It's in this building. Right there. 
behind all these trucks. So that's convenient. But they're a little bit busy right now, so I'm gonna have to wait oh, about uh, a couple of hours. What they're gonna do is they're gonna send a guy out here and fix it right here in the yard. So that we can uh, continue on in the morning. Which is great because this is where I was gonna spend the night anyway. I'm thankful that this happened where it did. This couldn't have happened in a better spot. In a parking spot, at a truck stop, with a restaurant right here, showers if I need them, a shop right on site. I'll be okay, I'll be okay. My head is just spinning a little bit because it's it's been a bit of a day. Tomorrow, we're gonna wake up and we're gonna start a new day, right? And we're gonna tell ourselves, and I'm gonna tell you, that it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go get our freight, get it loaded up. Maybe we'll get some extra freight to throw on there on the way home. If not, that's fine. We're gonna point our nose towards home. And we're gonna make it a good day. So while I'm waiting for the shop here to give me a call, tell me they're ready for me, I'm gonna put this vlog together. So I'll touch base with you in the morning how the repair went and uh, we'll go from there. So remember to keep your head up out there. Stay positive, try to turn every negative into a positive. I know it's hard and it's not always possible, but try. We can all commit to try, I think. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. The best thing you can do to support this channel is to subscribe. It is free and my videos are always free to watch. If you wanna help the channel out even more, you can become a member and get early access to my videos and also access to members only content, as well as a special badge beside your username in the comment section so that your comments stick out to not only me, but everybody else. You can find that down below my video if you click the join button. It's about the cost of a cup of coffee a month. Thank you everybody. Stay safe, keep your stick on the ice. I'll see you tomorrow.